Hello, welcome to our presentation, our presentation on sustainability of adventure tourism in Nepal and it is prepared by uh, Subhash Chaudhary, Rasmi Chetri Khatrimi and Pasupati Sarma and Ashish Ram Nagarmi. Now talking about the sustainability, sustainability is all about remaining for the long term and talking about adventure, adventure means um, Adventure means the an exciting or very unusual activities, uh, and uh, further sustainable uh, sustainable development is uh, development uh, development that meets the need of uh, present without compromising uh, the future generation of uh, of their needs. According to Broadley report in 1987, um, adventure and <coughs> now adventure tourism is a type of tourism which involve exploration or travel to far away areas uh, or interesting locations in order to take part in uh, physically puzzling outdoor actions and in theory requiring specific talents and physical efforts such as bungee jumping, paragliding, sky driving, sky diving, rafting, trekking, canoeing, etc. Is Buckley state that <coughs> a better position in the country's economy could be secured through development of adventure tourism, but development depends in many factors. Um, this report further explained about the uh, development of uh, <coughs> infrastructure, promotion, uh, promotion of the travel destination and maintenance. Of places and uh, uh, maintaining cultural bonds through adventure tourism. Uh, further, uh, for the rest of the report will be uh, further presented by my colleagues. Thank you, Rasmi, for your introductory part. Now I'm going to talk about uh, uh, the main part, let's say body part, like infrastructure of development and uh, promotion, which are considered to be the major aspects of uh, uh, adventure tourism in Nepal. Firstly, let me talk about infrastructure of development. Infrastructure uh, which are needed uh, to a country, especially in the sector of tourism, to develop it. Like the infrastructure of, uh, in the field of transportation or road or let's say in communication, which are needed to develop a uh, tourism field. It directly uh, benefited uh, uh, to the people, uh, especially the people who live in rural areas. They are economically benefited. Like uh, the people uh, who stay in remote area, they can directly earn uh, some amount of money uh, by selling goods uh, or by giving uh, their house in lease uh, to the uh, to the people who come there or let's say to uh, the tourist uh, people hence it results in economic growth our next point is uh, uh, it resulting the massive flow of uh, travelers that means when there is good provision of infrastructure there is massive flow of travelers around the world people not only from the home country but also around the world they come uh, in the place uh, here we talk about uh, Nepal uh, to cite uh, the rare views and uh, for their adventure as uh, uh, our topic deals with uh, adventure travel they come here for dangerous or let's say thrill journey when they do so what happens Firstly, they need the infrastructure. They need the good infrastructure. With the provision of fine infrastructure, uh, there is a flow of uh, travelers, especially adventure and travel in the uh, traveler in the country. Then there is focuses on long-term uh, development of newly explored adventure places. With the provision of uh, infrastructure, uh, we can uh, preserve uh, that area for long-term development. The area is not only cited for the short term, but also for the 
long term vision with the uh, definition of or with the concept of sustainability that can last for long period of time similarly it also uh, deals with the like emergence of homestay lodges and hotels as i mentioned earlier that the people are directly benefited when they build uh, hotels lodges or there is the, the development of hotels and lodges when they do so there is economic growth of the people not only in the people uh, who live in uh, town areas but also uh, to the place uh, to, uh, but also in countryside where the people having lower economic status they can raise their economic status so it uh, with the provision of like infrastructure uh, there is uh, more homestays more lodges and more hotels which attracts the tourist uh, for adventure and travel uh, in the same way uh, we have uh, next issue that uh, we have discussed here like exploration of new places through managed services and conveniences there should be uh, proper management of new services and conveniences so that uh, the tourists who come here uh, they should be you know attracted and they should be convinced by the services by the facilities they are given uh, for, uh, so that we can uh, preserve it for long term in this way we can uh, preserve uh, the sorry in this way we can uh, you know maintain uh, sustainability of tourism in nepal uh beside this there are few more points uh, that i'm going to talk about and the next point is uh, promotion of uh, places when uh, nepal uh, sorry nepal is globally known for mountainous country and uh, because of its uh, geographical structure people uh, come here uh, for adventure journey people uh, like people come here for trekking and uh, do uh, other you know dangerous things like uh, rafting and bungee jump which is uh, you know jumping from high hills to lower down uh, you can clearly see in the figure like uh, the people uh, who come here for mount uh, for mount climbing like uh, as as it can be seen that uh, nepal is a uh, you know famous uh, country for yeah like climbing mount climbing especially uh, furthermore it also promotes uh, different species of flora and uh, fauna nepal is such a uh, nepal is a country of full of biodiversity there is a different ranges of flora and uh, fauna different species of flora and fauna uh, if you talk about flora and fauna like uh, different uh, rare species uh, which is uh, found in uh, nepal like red panda which is considered one of the rarest animal of the world which is found in the himalayas high himalayas of uh, uh, mountains uh, beside this the plants uh, like uh, uh, yarsa gumba and golden mikhala these are the popular plants which are uh, considered uh, to be the rare and because of these people uh, around the world come here uh, and uh, because of this what happens there is a promote of there is a promote of these uh, a different rare species of the uh, di different rare species which is only found in nepal uh furthermore uh yeah for rafting canoeing and uh, paragliding jungle safari these are the major uh, factors of uh, promoting uh, places of nepal because of these people around the world come here it is the only country where you can get all these sort of facilities like you can clearly see in the figure the first figure it denotes like uh, people come here uh, for uh yeah jungle safari then in the second figure you can see uh it's uh, for yeah yeah uh, like uh, rafting 
and uh, bungee jump, mount climbing. Uh, so these are the factors that promotes a country as a whole. Yeah, besides this, uh, it's also famous for checking and uh, mountain expedition, helping promoting places. Uh, let's move to uh, next uh, point. Finally, uh, through media, newspaper, magazines, uh, these are the major factors which promotes uh, which promotes our country Nepal as a, a country of adventure uh, tourism, especially. Nepal Tourism Board, which is the official website of Nepal, uh, which can be, which we can access and uh, get information about the tourism sites of Nepal. And uh, finally, the role of media is vital uh, to promote uh, the tourism aspects of uh, Nepal. Uh, in this way. Uh, these are the two aspects uh, that I have uh, discussed. The aspects are infrastructure of development and promotion, which are considered uh, as the good, uh, as the you know better element, best element, let's say, uh, for the promotion of adventure tourism. Now I would like to request my friend Asis to continue the further presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Paspati Sarma. As we know, Nepal is very rich in cultural diversity. There are various types of culture culture in our in Nepal. There are people from there are more than 600 culture people are residing at in Nepal, and most dominantly the backyard people are residing in remote area of the Nepal, where different adventure activities are taking place. And due to the rich in culture. Uh, it is maintaining a good relationship with the foreigners. Moreover, they are exchanging the culture, ideas, information with the foreign travels. And foreign travels, travelers, foreigners also are excited about their culture and the festivals. And which helps to build a strong relationship between the local and visitors. And due to which uh, the foreigners will exchange their ideas towards in their country about the Nepal. So, for years and years ago, Nepalese people treat visitors as the God. Uh, and from not, uh, and also people from the remote areas are maintaining a cultural bond with the traveler, which indeed have a positive feeling in them. Like, if the if the local try to uh, save the culture, then the tourists will again be excited to come to their country. And if the, they do not protect their culture, then the tourists will know, not know about their culture and will not come to the country Nepal. Thank you, Mr. Asis. So today we are discussing about sustainability of adventure tourism in Nepal and uh, as my previous colleague has already mentioned that sustainability of tourism can be maintained through infrastructural development, promotion of places and maintaining cultural bonds. So infrastructural development is one of the major factors leading to the sustainability of adventure tourism as the emergence of the new infrastructures, most of the tourists from different destination countries can travel to Nepal as well as they can enjoy the different adventurous activities in Nepal and um, the government of Nepal as well as the local peoples are also promoting adventure tourism through various medias, newspapers, magazines and they are also expands they are also expanding the different conservation areas as well as national parks to further attracting the tourists. So Nepal is such a place that there are different adventurous activities which can be performed in different areas. For example, bungee jumping, rafting, rock climbing, trekking, skydiving, these uh, jungle safari, these are the different adventurous activities which can be performed by the tourists in Nepal. So almost okay. it is also promoting the different 
adventurous new new places through different means and also the sorry also it is maintaining good relationship with the travelers for future development of places mostly the locals peoples and different destinations they are maintaining good relationship with the travelers and they are exchanging their different cultures sharing ideas informations with one another thus that is also helping in maintaining the environment as well as people are mostly focused on preserving the environment because if the environment is preserved then only there will be the flow of tourists if the environment vanishes then there will be vanish of tourists that's why mostly the peoples are also focusing on the good relations with customers as well as also they are preserving the environment and it is one of the major source of economy of nepal mostly the people of nepal are employed through sorry employed in tourism and they are raising their economic standards almost the 4% of gdp of nepal is contributed through this tourism and sustainable tourism leads to the future economic development of nepal too and following the following things nepal government has also take different initiatives to develop the tourism and they are also means furthermore the government of nepal has taken different initiatives for the development of sustainable tourism in the context of nepal which will help to increase the economy of nepal in the future